inside 30 seconds. First umbilical has now been retracted, standing by for main engine start. The main engine start has been initiated. This will be a three-step fashion to bring the turbo pumps on the first stage up to flight speed. Three, two, one. And liftoff. Liftoff of the 60-second progress resupply vehicle from the Baikonur Cosmodrome headed on a two-day rendezvous to test upgraded systems en route to the International Space Station. All the uh, first stage engines are uh, reported to be functioning normally by the blockhouse in Baikonur, 40 seconds into the flight. The vehicle stabilization is reported to be normal. About one minute into the flight, uh, the Soyuz booster and the progress resupply vehicle will go through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Pitch, roll, and yaw, everything looking good on the vehicle. Passing now uh, through maximum dynamic pressure, going supersonic. One minute, 18 seconds into the flight. Liftoff time right on time at uh, 2.44 and 39 seconds a.m. Central Time, 2.44 and 39 seconds p.m. in Baikonur. All first stage engines performing nominally. Yaw pitch and roll of the vehicle all reported to be nominal from the blockhouse in Baikonur. First stage separation is now confirmed. The jettison of the four strap on boosters on the Soyuz has been uh, completed. The Soyuz traveling at about 3,400 miles an hour. That's the Soyuz booster with the progress uh, resupply vehicle on top. Standing by for the uh, jettisoning of the escape tower and the launch shroud around the Progress resupply craft itself. All parameters reported nominal. Good engine performance reported from the blockhouse in Baikonur. This is a view from uh, a balcony camera overlooking uh, the large International Space Station flight control room at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov. Coming up on the three-minute mark into the flight, the Soyuz booster and the Progress resupply craft traveling some 5,000 miles an hour. All of the structural parameters are normal on the launch vehicle, traveling right down the center line. Second stage uh, thrusters operating normally. About five minutes of powered flight remaining for the booster, sending uh, the Progress resupply craft to its preliminary orbit. Coming up on the four minute mark into the flight. About 30 seconds left in uh, second stage performance for the Progress resupply vehicle atop its uh, Soyuz 2.1A booster.
Good control, good stability of the vehicle as it continues to head uphill. Confirmation now received uh, down in Baikonur and by the flight control team in Korolyov of second stage separation. About three and a half minutes of powered flight remaining. Uh, the Progress now flying towards its preliminary orbit on the singular power of the third stage or upper stage engine on the Soyuz 2.1A booster. Third stage engine performance is reported to be nominal. Everything going extremely well so far, almost six minutes into the flight of the Progress resupply craft. At the six minute mark, everything going by the book. Good uh, reports coming in from uh, the launch controllers in Baikonur. At the time of orbital insertion, uh, the flight uh, will be under the control of the flight control team in Karyov. You're looking at a live picture from a balcony camera overlooking that cavernous flight control room. Coming up on the six and a half minute mark into the flight. Third stage performance continues uh, to run as advertised. Third stage shutdown expected at the 8 minute 45 second mark, followed by spacecraft separation and the anticipated deployment of the solar arrays and the navigational antennas on the Progress vehicle. Seven minutes into the flight, everything is nominal, according to the reports uh, being received from Baikonur. As the launch occurred, uh, our two spacewalkers for today, Scott Kelly and Tim Copra, uh, completed uh, their suit-up uh, procedures. They are in the equipment lock section of the Quest airlock, not uh, monitoring this activity at the moment. Uh, they have other things on their mind. Uh, they'll be informed of the progress launch in due course. Seven and a half minutes into the flight, about a minute and 15 seconds left in powered flight. All uh, structural parameters normal, one minute of powered flight remaining. About 30 seconds of powered flight remaining. So far, so good uh, for the progress atop uh, the third stage of its Soyuz booster. We're standing by now for third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation uh, about 10 seconds or so from now. Third stage shutdown confirmed. We have spacecraft separation confirmed, now standing by for solar array and navigational antenna deploy. And we have confirmation of a good spacecraft separation. All solar arrays and navigational antennas have been deployed. The television camera on the Progress has been activated. A perfect ascent uh, for the Progress 62 cargo craft from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan.
So to recap, uh, the launch occurred on time at 2.44 and 39 seconds a.m. Central Time. 2.44 and 39 seconds p.m. at the Baikonur Cosmodrome where the Soyuz uh, 2.1A booster lifted off uh, from Site 31, the second launch uh, of uh, International Space Station uh, hardware and crew members in just a six-day period. The progress reaching its preliminary orbit uh, eight minutes and 45 seconds after launch, a good spacecraft separation from the third stage, and a nominal deployment of its solar rays and navigational antennas.